Welcome everyone to the Honoring Diversity Creative Fecundity Incorporated Zoom event for the Biden Inaugural Committee National Day of Service. I am your host and my name is Ruxi Sharif. I am the creator, counselor and owner at Creative Fecundity Incorporated, which was born just last year of the pandemic and provides affordable online creative counseling and free collaboration forum services. I'm just going to do a screen share so that you can all see, you can all see here the Creative Fecundity Incorporated website, which is www.creativefecundity.com. And here you can learn more about the uh, Creative Fecundity Incorporated mission back to um, us here. Now I had asked uh, you uh, in the event description to bring a writing medium, a medium on which you can draw or write, as well as markers because today we are going to re-examine the concept of race and understand or view it from a different angle. So we will do so through drawing of our self-portraits. So if you can gather markers that are as close as possible to the colors that you see on your face. So for example, I have black because I have black on my face and I am using red for the color brown because I also have that color. So I'm using these two colors and we are going to start drawing our self-portrait. So we'll start with our hair. So gather your drawing mediums and start to draw your hair. And you can also, as you're drawing your hair, draw the outline for your face. You can draw the outline of your ear as well, if you are situated at that angle. Here, for example, you have the outline of the hair. Then I'm going to color in the hair black, my hair black, and you can use the color for your hair. So you can draw in the strands of your hair like this. We have the strands of our hair. And then once you have those strands move below on to your forehead, you can draw any forehead lines and move further down to draw in your eyebrows. And I am using black for my eyebrows because that is their color. So you have your eyebrows drawn in and then underneath your eyebrows, you have your eyes. So draw the contours of your eyes and I'm using black for the contour of my eyelid. I have the contour of my eyelid. For anyone who is just joining in, we are drawing self-portraits. So you can um, gather your markers that are as close as possible to the colors on, of your face and use those colors, those colored markers to draw in your features. So I'm drawing in my eyelids. And you can see your videos to draw your face, use them as a mirror, or if you have a mirror in front of you, you can draw, um, have the mirror in front and draw yourselves based on that mirror image. So here I have, we have our eyelids, and then we have eyelashes on the eyelids. And then we move down the contour of our eyes, contour of our eyes. Then in the center of our eyes, we have the black pupil. 
So draw in your black pupils. And surrounding the black pupil, you'll have the iris, which controls the dilation, contraction and dilation. So use the color, um, colored marker that matches your iris color to color in your iris. And in my case, that's black. And then notice then outside the iris, we have the sclera, which is white. And then once you have finished drawing the eyes, draw the contour for your nose. And for the contour for my nose, I am using the brown, the color brown, um, or this is representing brown. So the contour for your nose. And then you have smiling lines on the side of the nose. And I'm using brown for these smiling lines. And then you have the, your lips. So I'm using brown for the upper lip. So here you have your eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, all drawn in. And then for the skin tone, lastly, we will add in the skin tone. I'm using this red to represent brown because I have the light brown skin tone, but you would use your marker that organically it represents as close as possible to the organic color of your skin. So lightly, I am shading in my skin tone. When we re-examine, um, if you hold up your self-portraits and we examine the self-portrait, we can see that if we consider the standard definition of race, characterizing people by a single color, we do not see just one color on our faces. We see that we have the variation of colors. We have a diversity of colors. So we have, for example, the black pupil representing that race, the African-American people. We have the irises. In many cases, um, some of them, sometimes they are black or they can be brown representing the Asian American, uh, Pacific Islander, Native American, Hispanic or Latino American, um, and the peoples who have classified themselves as of the brown race, South Asian people. And then uh, around the iris, we see the color white which is represented, 
it represents representative of the European American race. So on our faces, we see these different colors in the variations, for example, the brown lines, the black lines, and some of us have black hair, black eyebrows, others of us have brown hair, brown eyebrows, we all have the white sclera, white teeth, we all have black pupils, we all have these brown contours and black contours, the inner concha, for example, of our ear, the ear opening can appear brown or black in other instances. So this coexistence of colors on our face negates the simplistic definition of race as one color. And uh, we see that there is this diversity of race, diversity of colors on our face, on our own faces, in ourselves. So that gives us a more complete, comprehensive understanding that race is not so simplistic. And if we have all the colors coexisting on our face, it's representative of our coexistence in as a community where people of diverse racial backgrounds, as we already are, are living side by side. And we see the representation of these colors equally, which we begin to understand refers to that racial equality. And when we identify that we, with all the colors that compose us, our physical appearance, it's easier for us to connect to those colors. And also it's, we, we connect to people of diverse backgrounds because we see their colors inside ourselves, on our faces, in our self-portraits. And we can hold our self-portraits up and we can say together with this newfound understanding of race, we have this proclamation. So we, we will proclaim together at the count of three. After I say three, we will read these lines. So one, two, three. I honor me. I honor, I honor, I honor me. me. We honor, we honor our shared our diversity. diversity. And we can see in honor of Martin Luther King Day, Coretta Scott King, all our civil rights leaders, the incoming President Biden, Vice President Harris, we are moving towards this unity. And they, we, are, we see now the change in our understanding of race that really we are, it's much more complex. And these simplistic definitions that our mainstream society has perpetuated uh, no longer represent the reality. It does not represent the reality of our complexity, our connection to people of diverse races that we see reflected in us. So then beyond this, this after this change in understanding, it becomes important that we see in society that change to reflect racial equality after we see this in ourselves. So I'm going to share the screen again. If you see this website, the Creative Fecundity Incorporated website, the next step for us is now to transfer this understanding of racial equality of in our economy, our health, our education, all aspects of our national reality. And um, in our, uh, on the website, you will see on the menu, this uh, creative collaboration forums. And if you scroll down the home page, you will see creative collaboration forums underlined here as well. These forums are an innovation where you can connect with one another across diverse backgrounds. And if we do not have enough time today, you will be able to interact with one another in these forums. So you see these forums here and you have, it, it's a free place that has been created for you 
to connect with one another and support one another as well as community members with your careers, entrepreneurship, and or relationship as well as the causes of addressing racial inequality and uh, changing it into racial equality. So when you click on Creative Collaboration Forums, it will ask you to log in, create an account and log in. And once you create your account and log in, you will be presented with this terms and conditions page. And in this terms and conditions page, these are guidelines on use of the forum. So read through the guidelines. You have to be at least 18 years or older to participate in the forums, but uh, you can easily ask a family member or friend who is 18 years or older to participate on your behalf and then join later when you turn 18 if you are under that age. But uh, for everyone who is 18 What's that? or older, and if you also, as you read through the guidelines, you will see courtesy to be courteous to one another because this is what the forums entail as you are service, being of service and helpful to one another. It entails this politeness and courteousness. So in your posting, when you post to one another and then um, be respective of intellectual property and then at the bottom, here is where you confirm you accept these terms and conditions by filling out all the fields and you can sign electronically to confirm and submit your terms and conditions. Once, once you have done that, um, you will be brought to an innovation box and in the innovation box, you will be able to fill in, um, respond to the questions it asks. And here you will see four sub forums where you can participate. So we have career creative co-action where you can post with folk of diverse careers and collaborate on shared projects and employment support sub forum and these are for employment assistance seekers who, who can post with employed members for mutual support. We have an entrepreneurship support for those who want to start their own businesses and to receive support here. And there is a responsible relationships forum where you can develop responsible and committed friendships or responsible relationships. So for example, if you click on the career creative co-action and let's say you want to collaborate together, click welcome to the career creative co-action forum, read through the forum instructions and after go collaborate, for example, here you can post and you want to collaborate with others on through um, conducting a skills workshop for people of impoverished neighborhoods in minority communities to help them gain employment. And you want to do joint training uh, with people of uh, different skills to join you in training these impoverished community members. So you would type your message here to see who can join you and divide your shared action plan with one another. You can publish your post here. And then also at the top, we see uh, on the right hand side, you can comment to one another's posts and follow each other's posts. So really you can use this, um, uh, it's a free space and for the community. And this will only work when we have people who have, uh, are of financial means, they have financial means, as well as those who are under-resourced. So you can invite people you know who are of financial means and who are also those who are under-resourced so that there is this support with one another and we can start changing society to uh, eliminate these racial disparities in the economy and on which everyone depends and uh, eliminate it in finances so that people have the means for living a healthy lives and healthy and happy lives across all our diverse racial backgrounds. So consider this your online home for service and support to one another. And I am going to bring back, uh, stop the share to bring back to all of us here.
so if we reconsider that we we have been for so many years the under this impression of race as a single color to identify entire communities. Today now, we see through details, the variation through our own faces, the reality it's showing us that we are, we are of different colors and we are connected to people of different colors. And it moves even beyond color to the shared histories that intersect with each other. And living in this country with neighbors of diverse backgrounds, we all have a part in that shared history, that shared heritage. So it means changing that long, this, this idea of racial uh, domination. It means changing the dominant views towards this equal view that all races are equal to one another as reflected in our own faces. And uh, when we see that even the variation um, even the changes we see in our colors under sunlight, what we see as uh, uh, the colors of our hair, for example, it's different in shadow. So even that change, the changing color that we see, it's, it's really representative of changes in our society. We have a changing understanding now, and that reflects in this shared idea that we share we connect to people of all races, we have them in ourselves. We consider each one of us as family members across our diverse fabric of American society. And so in honor of Martin Luther King Day, Coretta Scott King, all the civil rights activists and our new administration, uh, we can now spread this message, you can now spread uh, it out there and you can engage, for example, in the creative collaboration forums. Uh, they were developed by Benjamin Prizer, my collaborator, and I created the content and we did it to serve the community. So he volunteered his time so that you could make use of this resource to eliminate the, uh, the injustices and inequalities in our society so we can reach this, this uh, shared respect and appreciation of each other across our diverse racial backgrounds. So one more time, I want to thank all of you for joining me and I want us all to uh, pick up our self portraits again and I thank also the Presidential Inauguration Committee, the Biden Inauguration Committee for bringing us together in this shared space to re-examine race and reach this realization that we are really more connected and unified than we previously thought in the past and that we can now spread this message of racial equality and unity out there. So we share, we, we hold up and together we proclaim this message. So at the count of three, I will ask us all to proclaim. One, two, three. I honor me. me. I honor, honor thee. We uh, honor uh, our uh, shared uh, diversity. diversity. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Thank you and enjoy you. your National Service Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.